Hi guys, today we're going to be going over daisy chains. So in this problem, um, every day as a part of her walk around the farm, Bessie the cow visits her favorite pasture which has N flowers, labeled 1 through N, lined up in a row. And um, each flower for each flower, flower I has PI petals, right? And um, the constraints are given for all of um, these numbers. And so as a budding photographer, Bessie decides to take several photos of these flowers. And um, in particular, for every pair of flowers, I through J satisfying um, one is less than I is less than J is less than N, Bessie takes photos of all flowers from flower I to flower J. So it's confusing because it says pair here, like um, pair of flowers I to J, I and J. So you might think that she's taking a, um, a picture of two flowers, but what it's saying is that these are basically the constraints, right? So she's going to take a picture of photos, uh, a picture of flowers from I, from flower I to flower J. So it could be like four flowers, it could be five flowers, it could be way more than that. Um, you guys get the idea. So basically, Bessie later looks at these photos and notices that some of these flowers have some of these photos have an average flower, a flower that has p petals, where p is the is exact average number of petals among all flowers in the photo. Um, how many of Bessie's photos have an average flower? So this problem isn't um, necessarily worded in the best way, because um, for these average flowers, right, we we're never really told whether um, it should be like, for example, if if the average of all the petals in the flower, if it's a um, if it's a decimal, right? We're not told if we should just cast it to an int and find that flower, but in our case, if it's a decimal, we should immediately um, consider it to not exist, right? Because we're only going to be dealing with um, things that average out perfectly, and we'll look at some examples later. So um, we're, the question is, how many of Bessie's photos have an average flower? And um, the first line of input gives n, and then the second line uh, of input contains n se uh, space-separated integers, p1 through pn. And remember, that's going to give the um, number of petals for each flower. For the output, we're just going to print the number of uh, photos that have an average um, flower. right? So in this... Um, in this sample input, we're given four flowers with petal numbers 1, 1, 2, and 3. And we're told that there are six photos where there's an average flower. So um, every picture containing a single flower contain contributes to the count. And there are four of these in the example. So um, each photo um, that has just one flower is going to contribute to the count of the average flowers. Also, the i through j ranges um, 1, 2, and 2, 4 in this example correspond to pictures that have an average flower. So basically, um, it's this is not going to be in um, this is not going to be indexes. This is actually just going to be the um, count in the four numbers itself. So one, um, one and one, right? If you take those two and average, get the average, it's going to be one, and so. Basically, right, it's 1 plus 1, and then that's 2, divided by 2, that's 1. And so since 1 is in that range, um, basically that's going to um, add to the count. And remember that if once we get our average, um, the average number of petals, that average flower must be inside of um, the i and i through j constraint. Um, it can't be outside, or else it's, we're, we're not going to count it. Um, and obviously it should be inside, but um, I'm saying this because there's no real need to check um, the entire array to see if there's an average flower. Um, but yeah, so basically um, two through four also meets this requirement. Um, we have two comma four, which is going to be one, two, and three. If we add those up, it's six. Six divided by three, that's two. Two is inside the... Um, the range so you guys get the idea and uh, now we can so now that we know that our sample output is six because each of the um, single photos with a single flower contributes and then we have two examples of average flowers um, now we can move on to our programming section 
So I'm not sure if you guys um, noticed this, but basically for this um, problem, we're going to be using standard input and output. So that just basically means that um, we're going to be using scanner and we're just going to be using system.out.print for this problem. Pretty straightforward. Um, we have our uh, integer n, right? And we have our array list that's going to hold our pedal numbers, p. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set them up over here using the init method. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff so far. All right. Now, um, for the solve method, I'm going to be using two helper methods. Um, it gets, it might be a little bit um, confusing because of these helper methods, but they actually help um, simplify the solve method in general. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an integer called count, and this is going to hold basically just the um, the answer, right? The total number of um, pictures with average flowers. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, start our for loop at zero um, and go to n, and then we're going to do um, we're going to start our next for loop, right? The nested one at i plus one and make it less than n. Basically what we're doing here is we're creating ranges, okay? So it's like um, i through j, except I didn't really, I don't really like um, typing out j. I like typing out a because it's more um, easy for my finger to reach. I don't know, that's just personal preference to be honest. Um, but yeah, these are gonna be our constraints. So basically we're gonna go from i through a and then take that photo, get the average, see if there's an average flower, and you guys get the idea. So um, basically what we're doing is we're setting the um, starting point at zero, right? And then we're going to go zero through one, zero through two, zero through three. And then um, we're going to do one, right? One through two, one, two, one through um, three. And then we're going to do two and then two through three, right? So what it's going to look like is we're going to grab every single um, possible combination. So um, obviously we don't really need to grab the single photos, right? We can just add those into the mix later. Um, so what we're doing is we're grabbing like this and then this and then this and then this and then this. I mean this and then we're going to also grab this. So that those two for loops are grabbing every single combination or every single um, constraint. And what we're going to do is we are going to use our average method um, and basically what our average method does is um, we have the sum right and then we have constraints here so it's going to get every single um, number from uh, from a through b and then add them to the sum and then it's going to basically just get the average as you can see here and now it's going to check if that average is a decimal and if it is a decimal then we're going to return negative one Right, we use we do that using modulo and our integer version of the sum. So that's just basically checking if this divided by this is not equal to zero, then return negative one. And if it's negative one, then that means that we have a decimal on our hands. And if we just return the um, just a whole number, right? Then that just and that's not negative one. Then that just means that we are good to go. So basically, um, if we have negative one, we're just going to skip this next step entirely. That just means that. Um, our average here is not going to work, um, so we're just going to move on to the next one. However, if our average here works, then what we're going to do is we're going to say if um, the the petals array list contains the average in the range of i through a, then we're going to add one to the count. And basically, in the contains method. Um, we have three variables, A, B, and C. A and B are our constraints, and then C is going to be the thing that we are looking for. So um, basically, it's going to go from A to B, and it's going to say if um, we if P um, contains C right in this constraint, then we're going to return true. If not, we're going to return false. So basically, if uh, I'll say it again, um, if the array list P contains the average from i through a in the range i through a, then we're going to add um, one to the count. And then finally, what we're going to do is n plus count. And we do this because, uh, remember, every uh, photo with one flower in it also counts. So we're going to do, like, in this case, n is 4. So 4 plus the 2 that we counted up here is going to give us 6. 
And now we're ready to submit. So yeah, we pass um, every single test case. If you guys have any questions about this problem, um, or if you noticed anything um, that was a little confusing, then you can let me know in the comments. Uh, and thank you for watching until the end.